Tonight we're talking guns and the laws surrounding them. Now we know this topic's controversial, but here's something many do not know. There's not a lot of research done on the topic of gun safety. In fact, our area is home to one of the only violence prevention research programs nationwide at UC Davis. This week, they published three new studies on gun violence. I spoke to one of the researchers tonight, focusing in on how healthcare providers talk with patients about guns. We conducted the first study of its kind, a large state representative survey in October of last year, um, and included questions about the appropriateness of healthcare providers talking with patients about gun safety. The results of the study suggest public support for intervention. And we found that majorities of the respondents thought that these conversations are appropriate um, when a patient has a risk factor for firearm injury or lives with someone who has a risk factor for firearm injury. Four out of five respondents said it was at least sometimes appropriate when a patient with gun access had thoughts of self-harm or harming others. We have a lot of really unique resources. I think because we're in California and we have the data available to us to do the research and we have some of the funding available to us to start to um, create interventions and evaluate those so that they are as effective as they can be. These data-based interventions only became possible in 2017. That's when California allocated public funds for gun violence research. Before then, the Dickey Amendment prohibits federal funding from going to such research. Prior to 1996, when the Dickey Amendment was passed, there was some work being done on this, this topic. Then with, when that funding fell away, uh, there wasn't a way for researchers to, many researchers to stay engaged in that kind of work. Palin hopes her research will be used to create evidence-based policy. Whether that means working with policymakers and evaluating policies um, for violence prevention and firearm violence prevention, or um, developing interventions and evaluating those interventions so that we have the most evidence-based prevention strategies and we can start to put those in place um, in California and then hopefully those will serve as models throughout the country.